It has been a historic week for not only the game of golf, but sports in general. By now, we all know exactly what I'm referring to. Tiger Woods winning his fifth green jacket on Sunday after going 11 years without winning a major championship. On Twitter, Woods wrote, I can't thank my family, friends, and fans enough for their support. Having my family by my side today is something I will never forget. To not only be able to play again, but to be able to win again is something I will forever be grateful for. This jacket sure is comfortable. Well, Tiger, you look pretty good wearing it, and I think a few celebrities who took to Twitter as well would agree. Athletes Serena Williams, LeBron James, Tom Brady, and Steph Curry, as well as President Donald Trump and former President Barack Obama, congratulated Tiger on his win. Not to mention the Golden Bear himself, Jack Nicholas, who feels as though Tiger could quite possibly challenge his record of 18 major championships. Now, of course, Tiger is the headliner here, but let's not overlook some of the most impressive shots this week. Bryson DeChambeau and Justin Thomas both aced hole 16 on Sunday, which is bringing into question the Sunday pin placement on the hole. Many are concerned it's time for a change. In an article for golf.com, writer Sean Zach states, the current Sunday location at 16 has been manufactured for excitement rather than plotted to display skillful golf shots. There have been 22 holes in one on the hole since the 1934 Masters, which is 17 more than any other par three on the course. Hole six has only seen five in the same time frame. Let's move on to this outstanding shot by Zach Johnson. I must say, really impressed with the curvature here and that shot tracer technology. In local news, we have the Florida Atlantic University Owls absolutely dominating at their home tournament, the FAU Spring Championship, last month. Now, they may not have taken home the W, but they improved their overall performance by 32 strokes from last year's finish. But why? Junior Sully Zagerman is pretty sure he's pinpointed the reason. I think it starts with coaching, honestly. We've, uh, we've upgraded our coach significantly, to say the least. Uh, Ryan Jameson has helped us out tremendously this year to get us ready for this event and uh, eventually postseason coming up here pretty soon. But coach Ryan Jameson does not think he's the main reason his players have come such a long way. Yeah, I think it's just the work that these guys are doing. I mean, I'd love to take credit for everything, but, uh, you know, honestly, these guys are just working hard. Um, they're, they're, they're going about it the right way. I think that's obviously huge. Ultimately, UCF beat out FAU by a couple shots, but their results may continue to improve as the years progress. The team tees off in the conference championship on April 24th in Texarkana, Arkansas. To leave you all with a feel-good, heartwarming close to this golf update, let's talk about a local golfer who's been able to rise above life's challenges and take up the game that would soon change his perspective. First tee of the Palm Beaches participant Manny Malaret picked up his first golf club at the age of five. Unbeknownst to his father, Stephen, golf would dramatically change the way his son would view life. Hope one day I can come up with my son. Several years ago, Manny struggled to find his passion in life. That's until he stepped foot onto the grounds of Ernie L's Center of Excellence, a school serving students with autism. Before he went to uh, the Ernie school, um, Manny really didn't talk too much. Um, he didn't really even want to walk too much. But Manny doesn't let anything stop him from having fun with his dad out on the golf course or having fun with PGA Tour pros at the Honda Classic each year. It's safe to say Manny is living his dream every time he visits PGA National Golf Club in March. Just to see how happy my son gets, you know, just again, it's like, Manny, you've done it again. It's not uncommon to find them searching for some big name players to take photos with, such as Graham McDowell shown here. Manny has met Bryson DeChambeau, Rory McIlroy, Tiger Woods, Ernie Els, Greg Norman, and Ricky Fowler along the way. Now, Manny can not only walk the golf course, but practice the game he loves alongside his biggest fan, his dad. My favorite part of golf is putting. He could have let his hardships get the best of him, but instead he spends each Saturday morning practicing on the range. He's an inspiration to us all.
That's all I have for today. Thanks for watching and we'll talk soon.